Incidental findings have always been with us, but with modern diagnostic capabilities, they are becoming far more important and far more frequent. And understanding the rules of the road for all sorts of incidental findings is a major challenge to the healthcare team, to the research community, and also for industry. Recognizing that, it makes sense to think ahead, to anticipate what they're going to be, what kinds of incidental findings you're going to find, what you think ought to happen when you find them, and to develop a plan. With an abdominal scan, a CT or an MRI scan, incidental findings appear more than 40% of the time. With a brain scan, incidental findings more than 10% of the time. So it's extraordinarily common these days in a clinical setting that we are dealing not only with findings that we have sought out, but with also with unexpected findings generated by the diagnostic tests that we have carried out on our patients. You know, the goal of doing research is to answer questions. It's not, you know, taking care of people in the same way that you might in a clinical setting. On the other hand, they are people that you're doing research with. And so you do find things that are of potential clinical significance for the people that you are working with in a research study, and there needs to be some kind of a plan for which ones of those get followed up on, communicated to participants in the research, and treated if needed. Today there are many companies out there that are directly marketing genetic tests to consumers. Not just genetic tests, but also other kinds of tests, AIDS testing, pregnancy testing. People are investing in these companies very, very important questions. Do I have a genetic predisposition to this or that disease? Am I pregnant? Do I have HIV? And so we want these companies to anticipate the kinds of questions and issues that relate directly to people's health care that their findings might, might um, implicate. So whatever the context, whatever the modality, those were the kinds of things that the, the Commission was trying to tackle. And they really are the first body that has looked at the, the idea of incidental findings, the idea of anticipating those, communicating with participants regardless of what the context is um, and how to deal with them.